how do you do static analysis and leverage that with secure defaults? So enforce the use of secure defaults. Let's say you're a Python house and you're building a bunch of Python applications or you're building Python web applications. Is there, if you're using, let's say, a Django framework, you're starting off on a good note simply because you're already using Django, you're not really, the framework comes with a whole bunch of security capabilities and security features. It comes with it out of the box. You don't need to explicitly enable them for them to work. So if you can do that, you have automatically started using those frameworks or those libraries. So let's say maybe libraries in your case, you've started having developers use this or you're enforcing or just essentially having your developers use these secure default libraries. What you want to do at this particular point in time is set up your static analysis rules to look for violations of those secure default patterns. So you have certain secure defaults, but obviously they can be turned off. You may be using a pattern that is violating them in some way that says, you know what, override the security feature and still do this or something like that, right? You may have default violations. You're basically looking for violations. You have this picture of known good, which is your secure defaults and you want to ensure that that known good is not you're not straying away from that known good or not straying away from it in a way that might cause all kinds of issues right so the idea here is that you're already starting to use secure default it could be a library it could be a wrapper it could be a framework it could be what have you and the idea is that you have set up static analysis to look for violations of those secure default patterns. And if you find violations in your build or your PR or whatever it is, you are still able to tag them back and you're getting the developers. You're essentially enforcing the use of secure defaults because you are looking for violations of secure defaults. Rather than looking for all possible vulnerabilities in your applications, you are looking for violations of secure defaults. Now, this is a journey. It's not obviously going to happen on day one. It's for some teams, it's going to take some more time. Some teams, it's going to take less time, depending on your platform, your framework, your application, your language, all of that stuff makes a difference. The way you approach this makes a big difference. The best teams in the world have approached it this way, right? They've been able to start implementing or enforcing these secure defaults because they're looking for violations in these secure defaults. Only if there are violations of these secure defaults, which is much easier to find, even in static rules, as well as in reality, it becomes much easier to find. And once you do, you just get them to fix it and that cycle continues and continues.